Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and Ubisoft has just announced a timeline or, or kind of a roadmap for all the extra content coming to Watch Dogs Legion in the next few months. And this is actually really interesting. I didn't expect them to do this. So they're gonna be spreading out all of the content from April to August. So in April, we have the, the Mina character who, as we saw in the trailer, is like the character who can like control people's minds. But I thought everything was gonna come out in the same kind of package, but I guess she's coming out first for people who bought the season pass. There's a new mission, nothing really too detailed on that. Although we can see what looks kind of like a, a Capitol building or a, a town hall or something like that. Be definitely interesting to see that. As far as free content, we can see that there's gonna be new co-op missions, advanced character customization, new assignments, and new characters, a DJ and a first responder. Wh which I'm guessing has something to do with online. I haven't really jumped into it too much. It says late May, we're gonna have a lot more uh, online expansion stuff coming including Tactical Ops 2, a new PvP Invasion, and PvP Extraction. Now June is what I'm really interested in. So this is when it is officially confirmed that Bloodline DLC will hopefully come out, including playable Aiden Pierce and Wrench, which is going to be really interesting. I know that there have been some story leaks of people looking into the game files and looking at stuff. I, I haven't looked at any of that stuff. I want to be surprised. And I'm going to be doing, of course, I'm going to be doing a video on that. First, obviously, I have to get the video out on the online, which hopefully should come next week or the week after that, just depending on how things work out. And I'm actually super excited to play as Aiden. You know, this is set far in the future. We got some like hints at like stuff that's going on with Wrench. So this is going to be very, very interesting. And then it looks like in August, we're going to get the Assassin's Creed crossover, which I personally haven't played Assassin's Creed like ever, but this is still going to be really interesting. I'll probably have to consult with Code Red, who's a huge Assassin's Creed fan. And I'm a little bit interested. It says a uh, world event. I'm not sure exactly what that is, is if that's like a, a live event that you have to like participate in or how that's going to work. Like I said, a lot of this is being vague, but this is more information about Bloodline and post-launch patches than we've ever gotten before. So yeah, assuming everything is on schedule, we have some really cool content to look forward to for Watch Dogs Legion in the next few months. Let me know what you guys think about this announcement. Are you excited? Do you think it's going to get delayed again? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.